read, write. Um, I think it helps you organize your thoughts for when you, get, when you get on the air. And as soon as you can get on the air, get on. You know, it's like I was, I was saying to the young lady in front earlier. There's no substitute for just doing it over and over again. And one of the most painful things, even for me, uh, after all of these years of doing it, I, sometimes I cringe when I watch my own tapes. But you have to. You have to. And you have to watch it with a critical eye. You know, don't kill yourself and say, you know, just because you're, you know, not the greatest thing ever the first time you look at the tape that you can't do it. But look at it with a critical eye. Okay, how did I sound here? Could I have made this point shorter there? One of the best things I could tell you to in terms of performing on camera, a simple thing that a, that a guy who was a, a vocal coach told me, see periods. I think one of the biggest mistakes that people make when they start on camera is they want to get through without stumbling. People get obsessed with the stumble. I got a secret for you. The viewers don't care about the stumble. They stumble when they talk to each other. You know, the guy watching on television, he stumbled when he, when he asked his wife if she would make him a peanut butter sandwich and his wife said, get up and do it yourself. She probably stumbled too. Nobody notices a stumble to a degree. You know, if you trip over a word and then just kind of keep going or whatever, it's okay. What they do notice is if you blow through what you're saying, don't take a breath and they, can't, they don't know what you said. So I would say the biggest thing, get out there. Get some repetitions doing it wherever that is. It doesn't matter what the audience is because the idea is to get you better. So get the reps, and when you're doing it, the first thing I would think, see periods. Make a statement, see periods. If you want to be an analyst, now, do you, do you want to be a host? Do you want to be an analyst? Which do you want to be? An analyst. Okay, are you, are you an athlete? No, okay. What? Play nice. Go, okay, that's fine. The thing I would say as an analyst, Give me a headline, back up your headline, and wrap it up. That's the best thing. I worked with a guy, uh, now very few people do this, uh, nobody does it better than Billis, but, but another guy who was great at it, who's not even in television anymore, I used to work with, was Trev Alberts, who played linebacker at Nebraska, and he was with us a few years. And Trev, whatever you thought of him on the air, the one thing that Trev did great as an analyst is he'd, lean, he'd go, the bottom line is this. Now, you don't have to use that phrase per se, but when you're sitting at home and you have somebody looking at your screen and telling you the bottom line is this, okay, you know he's about to make a point. Then he would tell you what the point was, he'd give you a couple reasons for it, and then he'd wrap it up. Something. It's clear to me that's the way it is. You know, he's a very opinionated guy. Again, being an analyst, you have to be um, part of your own personality, whether that's sort of out there over the top opinionated or whether it's a, you know, a, a guy who has a unique ability to make virtually everyone like him, like Kirk Herbstreet. Uh, that's, that's a talent, man. I mean, Kirk can, because when Kirk skewers somebody, you know he means it. You know, I mean, he, he ripped Virginia Tech a few years ago, some of the players for the things they were doing, not putting the right effort into a game. Killed them. And because he so rarely does it and picks his spots, everybody paid attention and listened. Frank Beamer was glad he did it, if that tells you anything. And so whatever your personality is, you have to perform within that personality. But along with that, you've got to get the repetitions. And, you, and you've got to, there, there are some disciplines that will help you. And I think, you know, seeing periods, headline, back up, wrap up, and think in those terms. You know, don't try to tell everything you know the first time the microphone opens. Pick a point, hammer the point, and it sticks with people better.